Okay, here's another one of these dumb clips where you can't see anything because I don't want another strike against me from Google YouTube. You know, I, I ask for, for fair use. I'm translating from French to English. A lot of you guys couldn't read this stuff and those translator things are, are terrible. Uh, those software things. So, you know, I don't see what the problem is, but apparently it's a problem. And I've had some other strikes against me in the past. I don't know what I did wrong. You have no way of finding out. You know. Now this is from my yuhu.fr page, which is what I see when I open the computer. And this is cited as being from l'express.fr l apostrophe e x p r e s s dot f r today is august third twenty fourteen the crematorium of nanterre have they mixed the ashes of the dead duh <laughs> you know, what makes you think that cremation is better? Do you think that's good for the planet? You know, what? do you think everything burns down to dust? Hello? The bones and everything? No, they, gotta, they have to crush them down and everything. And how, I mean, it's just so retarded, you know, the, the coffin gets burned up and everything and all that energy and stuff. I, I used to live near a crematorium in Greenwood Cemetery in Brooklyn, New York. And it really didn't bother me, but, you know, the thing was working a lot, okay? Oh. Okay. Former employees of the crematorium of Haute de Seine, which is a département in France, it's like over on the west side of Paris, denounced the the disrespectful practices uh, there with regard to the people who are cremated there, according to Le Parisien. Okay, so Le Parisien is also cited here. Uh, if they can be confirmed, I think that's what that means. Okay, if these things can be confirmed, these stories of this crematorium in Nanterre, France, which is a little bit farther over on the west side of Paris, in Haute de Seine, are really gross. In um, an inquest, what's the word for that? Uh, you know, of uh, okay, well, I'll just say inquest of. Le Parisien, some former employees denounced the disrespectful practices of the dead who were cremated there. And not only were they disrespectful, they are downright illegal. The Daily noted uh, spoke notably, you know, underlined that many bodies cremated were cremated in the same oven but also the ashes just given out um, without the family knowing that you know they, the, the urns would get exchanged and you know they had no way of knowing if that was their loved one's ashes or anything a former employee of OJF, which is OGF, uh, the leader of management of crematoria, who called the alert, who who he raised the red flag, you know, spoke up, so that the families would know. Ashes like pizzas. He gives further details. Certain 
employees were handling the ashes like pizzas without any respect for the dead. I've seen them put two coffins in an oven to go more quickly, even while the families were there waiting <coughs> during the cremation. This was a method of work called Technique Fabrice, the Fabrice method, the name of a former employee who was unscrupulous. In a letter of firing, now see this is important, this is real evidence. Uh, you get a letter by registered mail here in France informing you that you have not followed the terms of your employment contract. You have 15 days to receive it, 15 days to answer it by registered mail and a meeting is set and you go to the meeting and you may or may not be fired. Unless you're, uh, uh, you know, sur le champ, you know, just mise à pied, I think it's called. They just they just show you the door because it's like so bad, you know. My last job tried to do that to me, and it was just ridiculous. You know, they claimed that I I was cheating, and that I ended uh, a meeting earlier. But you know, it was hot out, and the 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 client had it was the last meeting. We were all finished. Everything was done. She was eight months pregnant. She was very uncomfortable. She didn't feel well. And I said, hang on a second. You know, I got her water or whatever she needed. And I said, please wait a moment. Let's let's verify that we've done everything that we need to do. Okay. You really have, you know. So she left. She she worked near there. She 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 went back. And I, then I got one of these letters from my boss saying that I'm sorry this is not about the article but you might want to know what it's like working in France at least it has been for me uh, or, or apparently someone it wasn't from her oh no she was too chicken for that it was saying well I, I, I ended a meeting earlier and I was contractually obligated to continue working with this client until such and such a mi an hour and minutes and second and this was, well, it has to be within 30 days after. If, if something's missing or they think something's stolen or something's wrong, they have to, they can't, they can't harass you like eight months later, okay? Um, but she was angry at me because I had managed to be transferred to an office near where I live in the same city. So I didn't have to go all the way up by the airport every day, back and forth. A four-hour commute. I did that for years. And I, I was quite delighted, you know. And she was mad because I got out right from the first day. I was her victim. So anyway. Uh, so anyway, one of these letters does exist. Uh, and it says that the employee who was threatening with being fired or who was fired, uh, OGF said, you know, you're using the Fabrice method. You know, that that's grounds for firing. And that there were still pieces of a burned person and then you went and put in a new coffin. So the ashes of two people got mixed up. So the former employer employee of OGF who confided to the Parisian said equally that a stillborn baby had been intentionally burned at the same time at, that the, the police seals oh which is illegal. I guess there it was evidence or something and there were police seals on the baby and they just burned it all up. This explains how the ashes of Jacques Servier, the founder of the laboratories, put 
under scrutiny, I guess they had a lawsuit against him, in the mediator scandal, I don't know what that is, I, it sounds vaguely familiar, but I don't know, may have been mixed with that of another deceased person. You know, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe people don't have life insurance. I can't believe people don't have disability income insurance. It's a few dollars a month, people. I used to sell this stuff. I'm not ashamed of it. I was very good at it, and I only sold good stuff. And I made sure that nobody had anything that they couldn't afford, you know. You can't afford, you know, $10 a month. You know, what's wrong with you? Y y you know? And some of them had... I like to sell the ones that had cash values. I still have a bunch of them. That's how I made all this money, using the cash values from them, because you don't have to pay that back. You know, it just comes out of your death benefit or whatever, eventually, when you're dead. Uh, uh, using that money to invest, you know, buy real estate, anything, stocks, anything. God, you know, do you know how much it costs to be buried and here in France, a cremation is frequently actually even more expensive than a regular burial, really. So you better, you better deal with this stuff. You know, it's an absolute nightmare when somebody dies. I, I sent money last year to a YouTuber who asked online for help with funeral expenses because the family's father had died and they were just they couldn't do anything they didn't have any money you know they, they so I, I sent some money all my AdSense money has been given away in fifty dollar amounts by the way to others on YouTube and I, I must say there's only really one I regret giving money to the others I just said, this is a gift, this is not a loan. One guy actually paid me back pretty darn quickly, and I didn't need it, and he even gave me some extra. That's amazing. Ni very nice person. Anyway, he's doing m quite a bit better now. He's not out of the woods, but who is, you know? So, that's my rant. You know, oh, cremation. How retarded can you get? You know, I like the Jewish way where they just you get washed like the like the Muslims do and you get wrapped in a white piece of fabric and you go for the Jews you go in a a pine coffin. It's, it, it's not a casket, it's a coffin. It has no nails in it. They're not allowed to use nails. It has to be all wood joined together with pegs and stuff. And you go into the ground and that's it. Back to nature. And about a year after that, the surface of the grave is, is you know, filled in because it collapses. Because you collapse. And I think that's the way to go. No embalming. No chemicals. The earth does not need your chemicals, you know. Okay, that's what I think. Okay, bye.